Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, welcome back to Quake. Um... Alright. This is me, right? Yeah. So last night, I uh, went to a... a cafe. That kind of sucks. Oh man, there was a double one right here. Oh well. It's what happens when you play blind. Um. The hell are you guys? Oh Jesus! Whoa! What? Okay, so they do jump. Cause they look like the weird jumping raptor guys, but they laugh like the mimics from Dark Souls. So, uh, I did a little writing there, a little bit of coding practice, uh, went with, um, a friend of my wife's, who is now, oh, they have the teleport above you. That's nice, it's consistent, I like when they do that. It's the only way this crazy world makes sense. Uh, yeah, went with my wife, did a little coding practice. See, that's the guy I recognize. Sorry, I didn't mean to sit on that grenade like a mother hen. Oops. I realize that I've fallen into a John Mulaney bit. He has a joke that's like, Your dad doesn't have friends. Your dad has a wife. And her, uh, and her friends have husbands. Oh, uh, one of you. How do these guys, I think these guys are called boars. Your dad has a wife. And she has friends. And they have husbands. And those who you think your dad's friends are or something. Words to that effect. You are really pissing me off, door. Can't you just stay open? Neato. Anyway, in addition to my um, game dev stuff, I also played a lot of Quake. The method to unlocking Quake's hardest difficulty is kind of unusual, considering it was just a click menu and Doom, where you just say, I want the hardest difficulty, and they say, you betcha, here it is. Get fucked. Shambler. Well, that ain't good. Really would prefer some heavier artillery to do with him. Anyway, when I got in the car, she was playing, uh, I think it's called I Stand Alone, it's the Godsmack song, uh, memorably used in Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within. Oh, I'm out of shells. Well, this ain't going well. I'm dry of everything, in fact. Dealing with that shambler just got a lot harder. Uh, but yeah, basically, to unlock the highest difficulty, When you drop down into 
the thing for the fourth episode, there's that little thing that you drop down onto. And if you hug the wall, Jesus. Oh, here. That's okay. Anyway, if you hug the wall, and then hug, and then go backwards, you'll drop into a little like off zone that can then drop you into the level select for hard mode, uh, which is clever, I think. Oh, there goes all the health I just got. Do it. I kind of hate the way that melee attacks drain your health in this. Cause like I don't feel like I'm being hit per se. Because it just makes your health slowly go down, I feel like I'm just too close to his hitbox, and that's my fault, you know? Yeah, the regular knights do it, and the death knights. Anyway, yeah, I played the game in uh, nightmare mode. Uh, it's really hard. Harder than Doom's uh, nightmare mode. Which I think is actually called ultraviolence. You can't be serious, can you? Please go away. Jeez, oh Pete. Oh, that'll help. What is that? Oops. The Horn of Conjuring. Well, it probably summoned that thing that I immediately shot. Where's the Shambler? Gotta find him. Horn of Conjuring, huh? Yeah, that's definitely the Dark Souls mimic sound. Although I will say... Dark Souls uses a lot of stock sound effects for its uh, enemies. Though, a thing about that is... Oh, they eat corpses. That's cool. Very reminiscent of Half-Life, which may have taken inspiration from this. Since it's a well-known fact that Half-Life uses a heavily modified version of the Quake Engine anyway. Sorry for not talking, I'm just focusing on hardcore.
Uh, but yeah, Quake on Nightmare is really, really hard. For one, your health gets capped at, um, 50. So you have only half the health to be getting on with. I roll a grenade in there. Oh, okay, nothing, I guess. Door opens somewhere else. Where does it open? Path is linear. And then this is the little rotunda. Does this go... Oh, it does. It goes out somewhere. This music is pretty kicking, must say. But yeah, Doom uses a lot of stock sound effects, and I imagine that would probably carry over to Quake. And Dark Souls also uses a shitload of stock sound effects. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, that's the door. Which means that that's just a shortcut. And the real path must be elsewhere, right? Sorry, I keep trying to blue skidoo into those. These things are such a big fucking problem on Nightmare. They've got a lot of health, they can move really quickly. And they can just go right to you with their jump ability. Oh, this just leads down there, too. Cool. So something that's kind of nice and you wouldn't expect. The normal shotgun actually has really good spread. Look at that. So you can almost use it for sniping. Which is why it's a fine replacement for the best it's just a little more accurate and does scratch damage. The way Ranger's eyes just burn with killing intent. Radical. Let's do one of these, huh? Shame I don't have any axe ammo. Yeah, let's melee fight. Let's not then. Yeah, I support um, getting rid of the pistol. Because pistol starting feels painful. Whereas doing most of your work with a shotgun is much less so. That happens sometimes. Uh, I don't know why it does that. It might honestly just be because... I have Quake Spasm installed. I don't really need it, and I probably could uninstall it. And maybe even I should. Cool. Silver key that way. Oh, the door that requires the silver keys that way. 
That's a good looking floor. I kind of wish Quake modding was as popping off as Doom modding was. There was something I was thinking about playing for Halloween. Um, I decided against it because of my playthrough of Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. But there's a extensive Doom mod that turns the game into a first-person remake of Castlevania. Which is just awesome, by the way. Uh, it reworks the melee mechanics of Doom a little bit, so you can get good whipping. Uh, and then it turns all of your guns into... Close the door lock behind you. Practically textbook. Who are you, beautiful? You're good, get in. I ain't good. Yes. Just gotta get this thing in there. Come on. Okay. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't think you'll find as many cool Quake mods as Woodford Doom. Just not as in style, you know? Man, stun locking dudes with that thing is kind of untenable. Like, they can't really do much to, to stop you once you start. The thing about the trooper nail gun is that you... I should explain why I keep saying that. The thing about the super nail gun is that, um... Like, you kill things way too fast, but you also run out of energy, like, super, super hot for it. Yes. I should play super hot. That's basically a boomer shooter. Not really. Enemies don't have enough hit points for it. Let's go check and see how that Vor is doing. I think I'm taking the wrong turn. Yeah, there's this thing. Okay. Thank you guys. What, just a regular, normal guy? <laughs> like, you take a bit of, like, firepower to kill, but you're not really anything special. Oh, two of them, then. I kind of figured that there might be, like, another boar back here. Shambler, there we go. And there is a boar. The tower has opened. Yeah, let's get it started in here, guys. There are some games, I want to say Serious Sam does this. 
that are glitched. Enemies who die through infighting don't count to your kill count. I think some Doom Source ports do this. Um, and I don't know if it's a part of the original Doom. I don't think it is. Can lame it out. Cool. Kind of a shame that shamblers use magic. Because it means that they don't drop anything. I'm hearing some infighting downstairs, guys. I don't want to intrude on your business. Please, by all means. What level is this? Black Cathedral. Okay. Probably pause the episode after this. Nice. Don't have the gold key. So there's a Doom mod that makes all the weapons really stupid. I forget what it's called. But like, for example, one of the weapons is the Trooper Shotgun instead of Super Shotgun. And the description of it uh, mentions that one of the barrels is Trooper Broken. Um, and so it's a Super Shotgun with one barrel. So when you fire it, it shoots you like hard to the left because it only has the right barrel. Which I think is pretty funny. Yeah, honestly, one thing about using explosives in this game is that it requires you to be way more of an outfighter than I usually am. Because normally, like... Like, this is an end game, guys. I'm here to rip and tear until it is done. I don't care who it is. Demons. Knights. Elder Gods. Devils. Nazis. That's what you gotta do. Rip and tear until it is done. Them's the rules. Haha, -ha, you fool. Man. I think... Doom doesn't really have any, like... Does Doom have any enemies that do explosive damage? The Cyber Demon does. But he also doesn't drop rockets. Like, what I'm envisioning is, like... A third type of marine enemy. Or marine variant, I should say. Because you got the normal zombie man. Oh, yeah, we can do this now. You got the normal zombie man, and then the shotgunner, which is the first variation. And then in Doom 2, I think, they added the chain gunner, which is pretty much the same, but he's a lot bigger around. And has a chain gun instead. So the chain gunner and normal zombie man both drop pistol ammo. Stop following me! I think it's... I think it stopped. Uh, and then the shotgunner drops... Oh, cool. I'm fighting. Imagine the rockets might have helped, though. Silver key. And here comes the keycard squad. Yep, here they are. You know them, you love them. Oh, the bells are good. That's cool. Bad 
back to the start. Splash damage on this is huge. I guess I am banking around corridors and corridors here. Gold key. Fuck that, dog. And I'm taking most of it on my armor. That's not so bad. But yeah, I'm just envisioning like a marine subtype that uses rockets. I should really make that Doom one I've been thinking about. Oh, there was a guy around the corner. I thought we were dealing with a Spectre scenario here. I really like that killing those guys. Like, killing a Marine with a, with a gun is usually, like, a good use of your time. And killing those guys with rockets or grenades, like, usually it only takes two as long as you aim good. And you always pick up two. A little backpack. So you can always get back what you need. Watch my step, huh? Is it getting funny again? Yep. Gnarly. I think I've talked about Sigil before. Fuck. Okay, not that way. Yow. But there are certain things that, um, they're in Doom Episode 1. Oops. Passage to the Catacombs is open. And more torso men have appeared. Sorry, anyway. That was really stupid. Why did I say I'll be right? Actually, you know what? This is the episode. I'm going to have to replay this. Um, <laughs> sorry for my stupidity. This has been Quake, and I've been Alfred. Thank you all for coming. Uh, have a nice day.